I want to now move to Donald Trump, though, more specifically. And I want to try to see if you can get inside his head tonight of how he's going to show up on that stage. When he was in Philly over the weekend, he floated to the audience. Should I be nasty to Joe Biden? The audience reacted positively to that. We haven't seen Donald Trump, though, on a debate stage. He refused to debate this primary season, but he's known for his vicious nicknames, Crooked Hillary, Little Marco, Low Energy Jeb. Do you think he is going to be nasty tonight and would that benefit him at all? Or do you think he's going to take a more measured approach? I have no idea. I mean, what should he do and what he will do, right? What he should do, I think, is uh, show maybe a more disciplined approach to a number of things, because that's that's a side of Donald Trump, I think, that maybe is not well established. I think that would hold him in good stead. With that said, though, Brittany, got to be himself. I mean, the last piece of advice you would give either contender tonight, be yourself. Really do it the way you feel is natural and real to you, as opposed to having to answer question number 37 on the test, uh, you know, accurately and well. It's not about that, ultimately. It's does he look genuine? Do I believe what he is saying? Those are the markers that are going to determine winners and losers tonight. That is that is a marker that Donald Trump, who, by the way, nothing else, Brittany, he knows what it means to be on stage. He knows what it means to generate audience, to appeal to audience. Uh, that's you know, all his days on The Apprentice and, and other things he's done have really taught him to appreciate that. I think he's going to keep that front and center in his mind as he performs. That's a really interesting point because this is a historic moment in the sense of we had four years of Donald Trump's presidency. We're almost at the four year mark of a Biden presidency. So the American people understand their policies. They understand how these leaders govern. So do people care as much about the substance of their answers, how they're going to answer opposed to, hey, both of them look mentally fit. Both of them have good jobs. I can see their personalities more. What matters most here tonight? I think your, the last comment you made matters more to the president. It matters more to Joe Biden that he looks together, lucid and sharp for 90 minutes. It matters more to Donald Trump that he presses the case. He's the challenger, right? Generally what challengers do in campaigns is they take on the status quo. The status quo is President Biden and the Democrat party and there's a lot to play with in fact there's very little that's where the big advantage comes in the, going back to your question from before donald trump should press the attack on are you better off today than you were four years ago and across the board from the economy and immigration to the existential threats abroad you got to feel he's got all those advantages what joe biden's got to do the president he's got to defend his record He's got to defend the problems we're having on the southern border. He's got to defend the, the feeling of nervousness Americans feel about going paycheck to paycheck. He's got to defend that things are going to be okay and settled in, in all sorts of conflagrations around the world. The burden of proof is on the president tonight to give compelling and convincing answers to that. All Donald Trump has to do is raise the question.